All right, if you haven't heard yet, the Commodore 64, originally released in 1982, over 40 years ago at this point, has received a graphics upgrade via the cartridge slot. What's interesting about this upgrade is powered by the Yamaha V9958 chip. Now, if you're familiar with retro gaming, classic computers, then you'll probably remember that chip is what was powering the MSX2 Plus computer released in 1988. You will also probably also know that that is a mostly an Asian and Eastern countries release. Uh, I don't think the MSX2 ever was released in America or North America, USA, whatever you want to call it. I know the MSX1 was very limited, but that was back in 83. This new graphics upgrade uh, cartridge adds 128 kilobytes of video RAM along with increasing resolutions to 512 by 212 pixels or 512 by two, 424 pixels in interlace mode. Before you get your hopes up, you're gonna you are gonna need some you know a 1084 monitor or a monitor with a SCART input. If you're like me, you don't have that stuff laying around. We're kind of out in out in the uh, dark as far as enjoying what could come of this. As of right now, there's only some you know some, some pictures showing off the color modes and everything. Now it does drastically increase the color count for the various modes and such. That information is going to be available on the GitHub. I'll have that in the uh, description below. I'm not going to, you know, bore you with the details about 32,000 colors here, 412 there, or whatever. That's not what this channel's about. I'm just trying to bring you enough information to pique your interest and let you know this stuff is out there. And if you are interested, go check it out. I'll have links in the description below. Like I say, as of right now, there's only pictures uh, due to the limited of, limited availability and additional steps take required to take advantage of this, I really don't see this becoming a huge thing for retro gaming. It's awesome, don't get me wrong, it's freaking awesome. But I don't really think we're going to see very many games, software, or anything taking advantage of this, like the additional scrolling and things like that. I wish we would, but as of right now, I, just, I don't really see this being a, a major player. This is a, a neat novelty. And for anybody that has the capabilities to make it, hit the, hit the GitHub. Let me know in the uh, comments below what you think of this.